course, I'm extremely happy, and I feel like even though this is just me, one small adult film star, I have made um, a step toward making right what so many adult producers and directors and companies have done wrong to the girls for so long. And I'm uh, very happy that she has seen things my way and that has uh, awarded me. Well, I'm a little disappointed because I feel Kylie greatly benefited through publicity and um, many benefits when we signed the contract. And as I stated in court, uh, you know, her, her income is not determined by the videos she does, it's by uh, her dancing, her fan clubs, all the other work that she does. And it's quite standard that these things don't hold up according to the way they are. And I'm just a little disappointed the judge couldn't see our way. If you look at it, anything is never 100% one way or the other. There's a lot of gray matter in between. And I think that gray area is where this case should have landed. You really kind of make it sound like Sin City wouldn't have benefited anything from having me under contract, though, and that amuses me. Oh, don't my, my movies sell very well, and you guys have made a lot of money. We, so. I put you under contract personally because I know you're a benefit. You're a top star. We think you're excellent. However, I think that we have a lot to offer you as well. Okay. And it's too bad that it didn't work out that way. Well, I do want everyone to realize that adult film stars are not complete and total bimbos, and a lot of us do treat this very professionally, and that it is a business. And although we may be having a lot of fun doing it, um, take us seriously. I'm glad that after a whole year, we have finally managed to muck through this whole situation and finally get things settled, and I hope there's no hard feelings. I wish you lots of luck. Thank you. It's a pleasure doing it. It's a business doing pleasure. <laughs> <laughs>